Right, so what you do is that you, uh, I don't think I can actually see that from up here now, but you have to uh, shoot a thing that is above, above here to get this thing to, uh, you know, pull the ladder over. So, uh, been, I have not been observing, but I've just been looking for, uh, you know, about 30 minutes or so. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we found here, though. Uh, also, yeah, um... The, uh, I, I restarted a game, mind you. I restarted a game, I haven't found anything else. Uh, I did install the uh, first act again, and I thought this would actually, you know, show. But it hasn't, as you can see. So, let's uh, quickly just talk to... hold on. Can. Alright. And yes, we. Jesus. Let's just talk to Pickerel and we. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Soph kind of bugged out, I suppose. Is that Liam Rivermouse? What in the name of Martin are you. Well, I suppose I could ask the same of you, Mr. Star Thistle. Well, I suppose so, but once those. Star Thistle family amulet? <coughs> I yeah, hated the amulet. We, uh, oh, it certainly about would. Aye, so you'd have to. Go Back. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, while you're here, uh, do you think... I certainly can, Mr. Star Thistle. Aye, a short ways back. Gingerveer Greener. Gingerveer Greener. I, I spoke to you a moment ago. Of course, ago. Mr. Star Thistle. Help pick around. Uh, have you brought me back Gingerveer's journal go. from that chest, Mr. River Mouse? Yes, I did. Bug, bug Looks like just old yellowed parchment. By Martin's sword? I was right. It is another piece of Gingerveer's journal. Incredible. Thank you for fetching it for me. Of course, Mr. Sarthistle. But, alas, I had hoped the chest contained the rest of Gingerveer's journal. But this is only another torn piece. I must ask one more request of you. If you'll find any more pieces of his journal along the way, uh, please do bring them to me. I assure you, I will make it worth your while. I'll do my best to find as many as I can. We wouldn't want moss flower history getting buried in snow. Oh, you couldn't be more right. Uh, seeing as you've got such an appreciation for history, I would be glad for you to visit my study once you're back in Lilygrove. I've got a wide collection of other such valuables I'm sure you'd enjoy. Thank you, Mr. Star Thistle. Perhaps I will. Uh, please, dear boy, call me Pickerel. So long. Literally, it, uh, <clears throat> it took me a while to go, hmm, maybe it is this thing over there. And uh, this thing kind of locks onto things if there is something to shoot at. So if ever in doubt, do this and then do this. So uh, yeah, there was a thing literally up there literally up there <laughs> and it took me like what at least a half an hour to you know figure figure that hmm maybe this giant wheel you can see it again I can show you once I'm up but yeah maybe this giant wheel will actually do it and it's a smaller wheel on top so uh, yeah I'll be back once I, uh, you know, get, <laughs> I'll be back once I'm back at where I ended, and uh, here's a, a screenshot I took, just for you. Alright, so uh, actually I started down there, so, you know, down here, so, um, not too far back. There's a cave back there in the rock! I miss this. Oh, the Ivy Wayne sisters. <sighs> I hope they're all right. And not fighting again. They were fast. Uh, remember that we actually saved these guys from... <clears throat> remember that we saved these guys from... Um, including, including another guy. Uh, this is where he got the achievement from them. Oh, these waterfalls are beautiful. I'll have to bring Sophia here and... Uh, so Ishabon, uh, 
Yeah, that's the guy we're gonna have to look for too. And they... They beat us here. They beat us here. By how much, I don't know. But they did. I bet that barley mill is older than Martin himself. I can't believe it's still turning. I'm pretty sure Martin is long dead. There's a cave! Nope, nothing. Thank you very much. Eh, seems there's no fall damage. Nope. We're gonna talk to them just again. Liam, again, yes, because, I'm um, you know, well, what said, do you not a new game. Yes. Then why don't you do your scoutly duties and fetch me something warm? Hmm? I did see some cattails around. Oh, I can see good. I'll be. I'll be back with some. Hello there. Greetings, Miss Ivy Wayne. Liam, <laughs> please. How many times do I have to tell you? Call me Belladora. Now, what on earth are you doing up Old Moss Creek? I've got to get Sophia to the Winsome Wraith, where a healer is going to look after her. She was bit by that wearette at Lilygrove. Wretched scum snout. Oh, no. I've seen scum snout. That monster has caused us all quite the trouble, hasn't he? Dorabella and I are trying to get to Redwall, but the journey is proving more tiring than I expected. Thank goodness we have Ichabod with us. I don't know what we'd do without him. I'm certainly glad you're all together out here. Actually, Ichabod went ahead a while ago. He insisted on finding the ingredients for a campfire dinner as splendid as one we'd have back at home. He really is a sweetheart, isn't he? I'm just worried that he'll be cold out there. It really is getting chilly. I don't suppose... Well... If you happen to see him, do you think you could give him my scarf? I don't want him to catch a chill. A younger lady falling for a young for an older man, eh? Oh, it would be my pleasure, Belladora. I'll give it to him right away. Oh, thank you, Liam. Stay warm out there, all right? If I can find him. Safe travels. Uh. Also, that the one, there, there was a critter that I didn't find in, uh, you know, the lighthouse. Oh, so then after you've fallen down, there is a critter, critter there that I haven't found. Uh. Or if all of this is one, no, it can't be. No, 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 it's not. <clears throat> no, it ain't. So there is a critter somewhere in the first chapter, the prologue, that I haven't found. And that's annoyed me. It annoys me. What was this? Hello. Ah. <coughs> ah, cat tails. Ladder there. Pretty sure that's the only thing this wants to show me, and that there's a ladder there. Let's check the cave first. Ooh. Wine cellar, eh? Maybe? Okay. <coughs> How do we get up here? Energizing tonic. I think you all read that. I uh, didn't read the, this. Okay, so this has been torn side to side. 
probably first and last. <laughs> oh, don't push your foot. Come on, I'm curious. I wanna get up there. Ailey! Woohoo! <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so also notice how everyone is like leaving uh, Lily Grove. So I kind of feel like Lily Grove might be abandoned in a while. Ah, uh, so it's like it's pushing it all the way. It's not actually like you wrap hold of him. How do I do this now? No? Okay. Well, sure, if I can just get the goddamn angle. <laughs> there we go. Huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Uh, let's get this. Uh, I heard he's talking there, but oh, nice. Squirrels. Um, how much <coughs> cat tail do you Haven't want? You found Not yet. Well, if you, I'll be back soon. This far inland, though, you know. Do you need the? How many do you need, actually? Haven't you found something to warm my pot? Not yet. Everything here is wet. Well, if you... I'll be back soon. Warm. Uh. Oh, how nice of them to show me that after, uh. <laughs> actually. Uh. I highly doubt I can. Uh. I did find some silk mittens in the previous act. <coughs> hmm. Still, why would they ha would I have these? And what do they what do they do? But you know. Where would these mittens be, though, or...? Because she, she said... What was it? Like, cat tail. 
but you know. Where can I find more cattail? Okay, so if I jump that, I won't be able to get back. Absolutely no, I can do it. Oh god, no! <laughs> Are you sure that's what happened? I I be coming. Hold on. <laughs> Cat. Damn it. I'm mad now. No. Wait. What? There we go. Did you have luggage? Of course not. The thing I rem remember her saying was this uh, uh, cat tail, and I picked up three on already, or two, no not, not two, <coughs> three or four. Oh, pick you up, or oh, did that reset after I? <laughs> Quote unquote died. Maybe. Uh. Uh. Haven't you found some? Will these cattails do? Oh, this should be fine enough, at least enough to keep me kicking. Thank you. Finally. Always glad to help. Keep warm. Goodbye, Liam. Oh, if you see that wretched Ichabod on your way, do give him a scolding <laughs> for me, will you? Uh, I'll see what I can do. Alright, so we need uh, like three or four. Cat them. I'm coming, love. Mm -hmm. Only took us about 15 fucking minutes. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, how do we get across this thing? Alright. Liam, I think it might be best if Albert and I stayed here for the time being. Aye, I agree. There must be a way to get him off our path. I'll check it out. That's a 
big ass house. Where are you? What are those rats up to anyway? I could use those barrels if I could reach them. This guy there somehow. Perfect. This flower will match my scent. How fitting of him to move just when Okay, luck. Very lucky. <coughs> uh, kind of weird, but okay. I mean, couldn't I just have head there and just waited for him to go? Um. What's this? Damn. No, it wasn't. I haven't <coughs> found any jam in forever and out feels. You got this Liam? Ah, that, that's actually cool, because that's exactly what can happen with wind, that it gets uh, stuck in, in uh, whatever it's now called. Which is why sometimes it feel, uh, you know, something with cars, you know. This brings me to some jam. Speaking of the devil, you found them. <sighs> How far up is Fraby, though? You two are a rocket, I know. Hello there. Interesting that those rats haven't seen them yet, you know, like, hmm, hold on, down there. Are you gonna run past me or... Yep, okay. There he is. One second. Ah, oh, nice. Just for me. Oh, nice little house. Big enough for a mouse. Hello. Have you come to rescue me again? Uh, that wasn't my plan. Do you need rescuing? No, I most certainly am not. Uh, Belladora asked me to give this to you. Huh, Belladora did. Oh, well, I uh, suppose I've got to thank you for bringing it to me. Uh... <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Corn Silk. Always happy to help out. 
Do you have a minute to chat, Mr. Cornsilk? Do I look like I've got a minute? You're travelling with the Iperwayne sisters? Aye. The lassies need a strong mouse, like me, around to protect them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the uh, feminist has other ways of putting it. Dorabella doesn't seem too fond of you, Mr. Cornsilk. Aye, and I'm not fond of her either. That mouse wouldn't be content if I carried her on my back the whole way to the <laughs> Abbey. Not to mention she does nothing but complain whenever I try to spend time with Belladora. I can't get an ounce of peace and quiet with her on my tail. I think she just wants what's best for her sister. Well, it's at my expense. Belladora, unlike her sister, seems rather fond of you. Ah, uh, interest. I don't know what you mean. Oh, I didn't mean to intrude. Yeah, that's I. That's an echo. Uh, I apologize. Have you come to rescue... Uh, that wasn't... No, I must... Are those bees keeping you from getting their honey, Mr. Cornsill? The bees aren't out now, Liam. It's winter. Still, I'll bet there's lots of honey left inside. And I'll bet those Ivy Wayne lasses will appreciate some of that, hmm? I can get the hive down for you. I don't need your help, laddie. I'm perfectly capable of... Ugh. Ooh, are you okay? I'm fine. Just pull my shoulder. Ugh. Okay, then. Stay warm. I think it's a bit too proud. <laughs> like uh, our dear Sophie. Where is this? Ah. He was quick. I told you I didn't need your help. I'm sorry, Mr. Cornsilk, but that hive wouldn't have fallen down on its own. I was I was working up a plan, I was. Hm. You scouts are always stealing the glory from the rest of us. <laughs> Uh, I apologize. Oh well. <clears throat> so what's up here? Nothing for now. Nah, that probably should have helped me spot it. <clears throat> and what's up here then? Yeah, there's an echo in here, what holy shit. these rock formations have any hidden caves? <laughs> what is this? Oh, wow. I don't think this is the way to go, but, uh, you know. I take that jam. <laughs> God damn it. I got pushed off by the goddamn wall. Okay, so from here and... There we go. Is there some alternate ending? Just kidding. So you can fall to your goddamn death. Interesting. Okay, wait, so if it ain't here... I guess I was on the right path. Almost.
I need to stop biting my teeth. It fucking hurts. Oh, Sophia. She must be so tired. You'll have to rest soon. Hopefully we will meet up with Freyby before then. Is that a... Safe, but um, go for it. This one is a bit larger than the last, but I think the campfire is just on the other side. Can your shoulder hold up, Sophia? Quit worrying about me, Liam. I can do anything I've ever been able to do. Whoa! That would have been a cool cinematic. Oh no. Sophia, are you alright? I didn't realize that would be so rough. I'm alright. A few leaves in my fur, but that's to be expected out in the wilderness. Uh, I'd go so far as to say it was almost fun. Uh, more rats. You two, wait up here till I give a signal. I would not like to be second in the line, or even, you know, third. <clears throat> because, you know, the... Uh, the branches are gonna, like, whiplash your, ride, <laughs> your ass right back. Crates, barrels, and rats. I've done all this before. Think like a scout. Think! Why does my leaf now... Why is there a leaf on my glass now? like straight forward it shoots like straight forward so my worry is that it won't actually you know roll down Let's check this ought to be something here where to though I 
the post. <laughs> I think I fucked up a bit. What are they doing out here? a lot in just like 15 minutes. Shit. <laughs> this will make for a great camp. Shall we stay here tonight? I dare say. Perhaps we'd better start a fire and make some soup. I've been gathering some mushrooms and roots. That's wonderful, Albert. Oh, I'm starved. Kinda open though. Then again, you know, we kinda hidden. Let me check around with this. I haven't found, um, what's his face? <coughs> Freebie. I dare to say that <laughs> I dare you to say <laughs> that honey is a fruit. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my cough has been worse lately. Herbal. Nothing else. Wait, hold on. 
This thing has been used, if I'm thinking correctly. Ah, hello. Good thing I took a look around. <laughs> What's that? That's... Not even all the jam. And I'm missing a scent. <clears throat> Somewhere. Oh no, let's backtrack all the time. No, let's... Uh... I think this is, is a good place to actually start a new video one, so, um... The warm mushroom and potato soup filled their bellies and provided a sort of comfort. For there is no challenge in this world that does not seem just a little easier after a good hot meal. Thank you, Albert, for collecting all this. It's just what we needed. I'm glad to be able to help, young scout. I know you're anxious to see your Sophia well, and taking an aging tailor on your journey isn't exactly the most efficient choice. But I'm grateful for your help, and I hope I've helped you in return. Thank you, Albert. Truly. Well now, Liam. It certainly proved to be a good choice to bring Albert along, didn't it? Yes, yes, it certainly did. Albert in, why don't you? I wouldn't dream of it. I didn't mean to hesitate on taking him with us. I know we're supposed to serve with Landers, Sophia. But it's just... I'm frightened for you. We have to get you to the Winsome Wraith, and soon. Oh, don't worry, you. I can hold out a little longer. I know you can. You're a toughie. I suppose I'm also worried that I can't keep everyone safe. Albert is a great help, that is for certain. But he's not a scout. Liam Rivermouse, I am confident that you're entirely capable of caring for us all. Nothing will go wrong. I'm certain of it. Besides, we're scouts. We can't leave anyone behind. I know. We have a duty to help. And sometimes, we need help in return. We couldn't have gotten far without Albert today. Aye. Perhaps Martin himself sent him our way. Say he watches over warriors, you know. I'd like to think that's true. But perhaps he's with us even now. And with a newfound hope unfurling in his chest, Liam allowed himself to drift into Sydney. What was that? Liam strained his ears, listening for the sound. Freddy. Three. The scout's call, but three. Three means danger. Before Liam was a scout, a whistle for danger meant it was time to flee. But now, with his initiation upon him, he felt a responsibility. If a fellow scout was in danger, he had to help. He didn't want to leave Sophia, but neither did he want to wake her. She desperately needed to rest. Perhaps he thought he could investigate and then return to make a plan. If I can find a high vantage point, I can use my way glass to see who's in danger.